all right so what is going on today youtube we are going to be doing a post commentary uh, uh post commentary on our quick duel of fox zombie the first duel of fox zombies the second duel is live so um yeah i just didn't have uh it wasn't able to record because there was a lot of stuff going on so i can't i, I couldn't record because there was no quietness so we're just going to do a post commentary today as you can see i opened up actually really good and we are going to be going up against heroes and um like i said when i when i seen what he was doing i'm like all right so you know he ain't really got anything i'm thinking you know he ain't got nothing he's gonna end his turn but then he special summons bubble man i'm like oh okay i forgot all about bubble man i haven't seen bubble man in a minute so then he does another strange uh, not a strange play but he does another good play which he goes into the new um hero link and i'm like oh wait a minute we might actually get you know fleeced and beast because when he searches off a of shadow mist i'm thinking all right yeah he has to have you know the d draw sitting face down i'm thinking oh no please don't because if he can set up a dark law even though we can out it fairly quickly um uh, it's still a you know it's still i have to waste a card i have to change my play to get rid of dark law so that's you know that's that's not good in the combo deck you have to change combo plays so he ends up setting another card to end in his turn i'm like oh that was pretty underwhelming so i'm like why the hell did you even do that so we're going to immediately start off our turn with a gofu and i put it over there because for some reason i, I don't i like leaving my middle zone uh field for some odd reason i really don't know it's for some sources but I, I like come to think about it like there's no reason to do that because <laughs> Um, if you leave it clogged, you can't even use it. So it's like any waste of link zone because most, you know, most links point down, left, down, right. So we're going to go into a needle fiber to start off our play. And I believe we're going to get the two star. Um, if, I, if I'm smart, if I'm playing smart, I'm getting the two star because there's no real reason to get anything else. No reason, real reason to um, uh, to uh, put the ash in the graveyard or put the ash or just use an ash that we can possibly draw into with Skull Deed. So then I normal summon Gold Zuki because I do have Solitaire in my hand. So with this being said, I can dump Spirit Master. So I can allow Force out the Dark Law. If he has it, he has it. And we can deal with it from there. So as you can see, I do have four different ones. And now that I'm looking, I don't have a Firewall in my deck for some odd reason. That definitely should be fixed so we're going to be going with a draco serpent and we're going to chain link uh we're going to sh uh, make the chain to where he cannot um i guess ash it or something like that if he did have it but it looks like he doesn't have it and then we draw four and as you can see we draw on double trap we draw another unit zombie we drew another trap and we also drew another true king which we do not need but that's all fine and dandy because we can put those all back with Dra uh, draco serpent's effect and then we can use spirit master to pop his extra link and we also have soul charge so we can waste a bunch of plays but he does something way different he changed his battles of world legacy so i'm like wait what the hell does this do it's actually a pretty good i guess uh it's actually a pretty good card i mean it's, it's a lot better than the other one there's a trap version of that it's a lot better than that because your opponent actually loses the attack you can target i think you target yeah you target a monster on your opponent's side of the field and it loses attack based on the cards you banish. So that's that's even better. And it's a, and it's a spell, so it's, it's very good. Uh, I thought they would only be for, you know, uh, world legacies, but it's not. So he ended up using Phoenix Chain on my Unizombie, but that's all fine because you can see I do have a nine tail Fox in my hand. So what we're going to do is pop, pop, and bring out, um, what's the name, the True King, and then we're going to get two more tokens. Now right here, what I should have did, absolutely should have did, was go into an attack and just you know hit my opponent with the most damage i can but i'm thinking you know let's just let's just you know let's keep skull beating let's see what we can get to as you can see vampire suckers right there i'm contemplating going into that but i'm like that doesn't it does, oh i was thinking about going into that because i do have soul charge i'm like i could draw a card and you know go from there but yeah i definitely should attack because that would have been what 5900 i would have hit him with and you know we would have been all good in the hood but like i said i have soul charge so when you got soul charge you can afford to waste all your cards so as you can see we do it to another skull deed and as you can see what we drew off the skull deed and here i'm thinking what should i keep um it's definitely not going to be gozuki and fire king island i know those two are immediately going back but i'm thinking about keeping ash or the diagram but i have soul charge so let's go ahead and keep the diagram so we can continue to do more plays so here as you can see we're definitely bringing back nine tail fox we're going to i think bring back christian needle fiber because i I'm in, in in my mind I have the water one in my deck like the true king water one 
uh, so I can you know do it again and you know pop some more but uh, I don't actually have it in my deck so getting crystal needle fiber really doesn't do anything for this play but you know that's just that's, that's once again that that because the original deck it has the water one because I made changes to it but that was on a different computer um, but I do I believe I do change it for a game too so uh, I mean not game two but uh the the second duel of the day I do definitely change it for that so we won't walk, run into these problems again so as you can see we get our uh soul charge for five back we're going to bring gozuki back right there we're going to bring the spectral sword back right there because we're going to be using these zones and you don't really want to clog up zones you're not going to be using put the needle fiber over there i mean not the yeah, needle fiber and units over there because like i said all the cards where i'm putting under scody are going to be removed so we're going to start off with a young acoustic magician because you guys already know where i'm going with this i'm trying to get where i need to be you know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm trying to do. So I activate the diagram and I'm about to pop Nine Tail Fox to search another card and we get hit with a twin twist and he discards Mally. So now I'm like, okay, we kind of uh we kind of might lose here. But it's okay because now what I'm gonna do is show off the vampire sucker and it's not in the best I guess this this is exactly where we're missing a firewall and it definitely should be in here. Um, this is exactly where we're missing and yeah, that, that's it, like immediately like obvious right now Firewall would have been the best play to go to after this But what we're going to do is use vampire sucker for all that it is useful It's the link to zombie which is good and we get to draw a free card if we special summon or if I special summon for my opponent's graveyard, so I don't have any more Mizuki, so I'm thinking, all right, I might as well just give him, you know, the least best card. Um, give him Bubble Man because I'm not giving him Dark Law. I mean, I'm not giving him uh, Mali or Shadow Man so he can have a way to get to a Dark Law. So I felt like, you know, Bubble Man is okay. Uh, Deco Talker can possibly go out this deck because we don't we don't ever go into him. So um, there definitely could be another firewall. So we're going to go for the Akashic play. We're going to dig for a burial of different dimension because. Why not? Why not, folks? It's literally the greatest thing in the world to dig for that. But we don't end up hitting it, but we do end up hitting a Mizuki. So that's good. Now, here I make another slight misplay. It's not, I mean, yes, yeah, it's a very big misplay. I definitely should have got Nine Tail Fox back because, um, just in case, like he had Dark Hole or something, or at least get two tokens, and then we're still able to activate the Swallow Slash. But I get Gozuki. Because I thought I could use Skodit's effect to special summon from my hand. And I think I was going to go Baguska. I think that's what the, uh, the initial play was. But, you know, that, that doesn't work out. Because Skodit needs three different monsters to special summon from your hand. And you need four to draw. So, since we only use two, we're not going to be doing, I mean, we're not getting that. But then, uh, he gets his link back, which is like, alright. So, that's, that's not even once per turn. That's actually a pretty good card. Um, but yeah, he gets his link back because of the, the quick play spell, but we're set up for next turn and I, I dangerously come close to actually losing because look at me, I'm at 3000 and he's playing heroes. So literally all he has to do is normal summon another hero and then go into another extra hero in the extra link zone, um, right up there where it, you know, it's viable and he can get it. He can get a mass change and then mass change would get him to a Koga and Koga can reduce something to like zero by banishing. Um, he can banish uh, one of the extra links. He can actually link those off to a bore load. We like we literally could have lost if our opponent, you know, all he had to do was literally do those plays. But um, he does not go for that. He actually goes into a summon sorcerer. So I'm like, okay. I mean, he easily could have used Bubble Man and uh, Mally. Actually, no, he couldn't have. I just no wait. No, the, yeah, it's two heroes, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's two heroes. Um, so yeah, he, never mind. It, it didn't really matter. Um, so now he's going to summon some of the So I'm thinking, all right, I'm not going to let you do more. I said, if you got it, you got it. There's nothing else I can do. So we're going to target Bubble Man and we're going to target um, the summon sorcerers because summon sorcerers won't resolve because it's not pointing to anything. So we're good with that. And then I make another crucial misplay. Definitely shouldn't have summoned that in attack mode because if he, all he has to do is like, he literally has to bring out, like, if he has mass change, we're, we're just done for. If he has mass change, we are done for because he can just go into uh, Anki. Anki would be 3,100 if he places it in front of Skull D. He runs over Skull D. Actually, he's run over a Cosmic Magician for 11. And then he can mass change again for another Anki, I believe. And then run over that with again 13. So that would have been 13. 
and 11 which would have been 24 and then like i said he could have just you know i'm pretty sure he could have got a form change you know he could have went to a koga and do a tactical scoldy like all that could have happened but he did not have the match change. he had a hero's live and you know that's not going to do anything because we all we already have you know spe uh wesley spirit master on the board so it, it's going to be okay i feel like we're going to be going i mean i feel like we're going to win this duel based off of that so i draw into a terraforming and like all right i'm like yeah damn so sure, good we have a ganesha so ganesha can either stop dark law if he makes a if he makes a mistake or uh, ganesha can stop the shadow mist if he uh, attempts to activate the effect so i activate terraforming he chains uh shadow mist um in hindsight possibly not i mean I, I don't think there was any way to get around this because you know it is dark law so i mean he, he only have only way he can only thing he can get to is a dark law so there's nothing that he can really do he could have went anki but like i said then, uh, you know i have multiple i have multiple uh ways to get around anki so he's forming his chain link and it didn't really matter what he chose to go first um i just negated the shadow mist so i can pop that and since dark law banishes everything we get a free pop and you see i have the spectral sword loaded up in the graveyard so we actually pull through and win against heroes with a very cool duel but i feel like he could have did a lot more but thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy it if you would like to support the channel click an ad and see you guys in a couple more hours for the second duel of the day